Hi, today in this video, I'm going to talk about how easy it is to get uh, quant finance opportunities uh, in uh, abroad uh, from India uh, without you know going for higher education, right? You're not going for higher education, getting a job there, but you are actually directly um uh, getting jobs uh, abroad from india right uh, how easy is that right it's a question someone asked me and i thought of making a video uh, i think uh, this probably is a question in many people's mind and uh, i thought of making a video on this uh, well i myself uh, do not have uh, a qualification from foreign university i just have a qualification from uh, indian university and i have been working in uh, in foreign countries uh, for the last nine years now and I have many colleagues uh, from India who do not have uh, any qualification from foreign university and they're still working here in, in Europe. I've also met many uh, people in London when I used to work there. Um, so it's quite possible, right? But there are no answers to it and I'm going to discuss uh, in this video. So what are the things that you need to know if you're trying to move abroad uh, with a quant job? Um, right um okay so stay tuned okay I'll, I'll be discussing about that in this video so 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 there are two ways to uh, go abroad from india right if you want to explore opportunities in quant finance space right one way is to directly apply for jobs abroad from india and then get hired so that's one way the other way is to try through uh, internal mobility that means you work for an mnc company in india in the back office or in their uh, you know delivery center and then you move within that company uh, it's the internal mobility right um, now there are different things to know about it right um, and and let me first uh, tackle the question of the first option right so the first option where you directly apply from india to companies uh, in in uh, other countries right specifically in in europe in the uk or middle east us is a bit difficult uh, you need to know a couple of things right so uh, 10 years back it was quite different actually um, 10 15 years back there was uh, hardly any reputation of indians working in the finance industry abroad and the ones who do not have a qualification from foreign university that was very rare there were, there were also some working like i i, I know like uh, Deutsche bank uh, used to have a lot of traders from india Indian management school like IIMs, um, the uh, top IIMs and all, but there were simply not many, right? Uh, especially in the quant finance space, there were not many uh, who uh, were hired directly from India. I think things have changed quite uh, dramatically over the last ten years, and I see many people directly coming uh, to Europe um, and UK and Nordic countries, um, but also Middle Eastern countries um, in, in large number, right, to work in quant finance. So uh, it, it's definitely possible. You can you can try. There are uh, different ways to do that. You could either go through a headhunter or directly apply. Right, going through headhunter is actually easier because uh, he will have the you know incentive of uh, placing you in some company because he will be make a, making a commission out of it. So he will try very hard for you. He will also use his own contacts to get you placed right but it's not easy to find the right headhunter right in that scenario then you'll have to directly apply uh, through linkedin or through different other places right it's never easy but that's also possible um, reference works uh, wonder actually the best way to get a job abroad is through reference because there's always a trust issue when people hire from abroad right but if, if you hire through some of your internal employees um, or past colleagues uh, or uh, university classmates it uh, gives a bit of a uh, confidence right so that's um, uh, that gives more confidence to the hiring manager right so uh, if you can uh, ask somebody to refer you uh, uh, in his or her company uh, that that really is good right you should therefore you know just uh, find uh, people who will be who will be ready to refer you right not easy right but there are ways to do that right um when you apply directly, I think one of the things that you need to keep in mind that you need to have experience, right? It's not for fresh guys. I have rarely come across people being hired directly from India who do not have any work experience, right? So if you do not have any work experience, 
uh, you really need to then find opportunities in India itself. Get some experience only then you can move abroad. But if you have experience with uh, big uh, organizations, uh, multinational firms, big four consulting firms or uh, even, you know, top IT firms um, or uh, you have worked with, uh, you know, large uh, insurance firms, uh, the ones which are well known outside of India, then you have a better chance of getting a job abroad, right? Um, otherwise, it's it's far more difficult, right? Uh, so, what is the ideal years of experience? It's like five to six years of experience you need before you have good chance of um, getting a job abroad, right? Um, almost everybody I've come across uh, here in Europe who have moved who has moved from India to uh, Europe directly uh has at least couple at least four or five years of experience uh before moving uh so that's something to keep in mind so you need to have you need to already have some uh, experience and skills and so on also the, one of the reason why that is the case is because in in these countries you have a, a salary um salary minimum salary for high skill uh, migrants right uh, it, it's it's actually around 80,000, 90,000 euro, right? And and somebody to get 80,000, 90,000 euro as a starting salary here, you, re you really need to be a bit more experienced because the starting salary in a lot of these jobs is also like 50, 60, right? In many countries, in London, it's more, but uh, in many countries in Europe, it's, it's about 50, 60,000 euro. And then uh, only when you get uh, four or five years experience, you move to the 80, 90 bracket, um, and that's exactly when you you can be hired from abroad otherwise you know they can't hire right? it's not legally allowed to hire so that's a, that's the thing right well london is a bit a, a bit of an ex exception because i think in uk this uh, the minimum salary uh, level is is uh, much lower especially after brexit but uh, in netherlands germany and some of the other countries it's it's a bit different uh, so keep that in mind um, you would have a great CV, um, CV in the sense that you, you, you need not put just everything out there, but just uh, make sure that it's it's concise, it's one page, maximum two pages CV. Um, you need to be very uh, clear on what you have done. Uh, make sure that you have all the jargons, all the technical terms on your CV. Otherwise, you will, you will not be noticed, right? Technical skills are valued more uh, compared to more generalistic skills um so that's one thing to know and then also interview preparation is very very important in europe the interview uh level is actually easier in my view compared to what i have observed in india so it's easier for indians uh, to you know uh, impress the the hiring managers here in europe so on technical skills i think we indians are quite good but when it comes to soft skills right soft skills is when we talk about soft skills, we in India assume that it's about your proficiency in English language. That's not always the case. Although we Indians uh, are reasonably okay in English compared to, let's say, many Europeans. Um, but, you know, it's, it's also about the confidence. It's about uh, your ability to... Uh, to work in a team and all those skills are super important culture issue and all that because a lot of the indians are very shy they won't even complain about too much of work you know they get frightened sometimes uh, they get intimidated sometimes in 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 the world of finance right you really need to have a thick skin it's very very important right and a lot of the indians i've uh, met especially the more junior junior ones the, who come um abroad um i see that despite they being really good really smart they're a bit underconfident right that is a question mark on the self-esteem all that uh, is something I have, I have observed despite having a stellar academic background and wonderful uh, uh experience all kinds of good experience but i see that a bit lacking and i also have heard from hiring managers that being the case uh, with many indians Indians uh, simply don't talk much. They don't dominate the discussions. All that is important. So make sure that you don't uh, give an impression that you you simply don't have the resilience, the 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 level of um, toughness that is needed to work in the field of finance. Because finance is a bit different compared to let's say tech or other things. It's a political organization. Banks are political organizations. Uh, you really need to be able to handle. The internal politics um, otherwise um, i mean it's it's not rocket science to be honest uh, it's it's not that difficult to handle 
uh it's in fact easier than it is made it uh, out uh, but but uh, you know you need to at least you know give that impression in the interview all right so let's move to the second uh, option where is you want to move abroad internally right you're working at uh, let's say dosh bank or barclays you're working at eui kpmg or any of these uh, global firms in india and you want to move make a uh, internal move right i do not know what has changed in the last maybe 6 7 years 8 years but before that you know uh, it used to be a bit difficult to make a move uh, from india to uh, to abroad internally because the um, because it creates uh, some sort of uh, a problem for uh, the company actually because if if they send one guy then they actually make other uh, 10 people unhappy with that uh, you know moving that one guy abroad right because everybody wants to work abroad right more money better quality of life etc etc right um but that has changed because i see many of my former colleagues actually made a move internally uh, some from Deutsche Bank some from HSBC and i have also seen in uh, that to be the case in city bank but also in uh, uh, in other uh, let's say us and uh, european firms big four consulting firms do move some of the employees from india to abroad uh, especially to middle east i've seen many people uh, coming to middle east from india uh, those who wish to work in big four consulting in india but some even have made a move to uh, europe right i don't see many moving to us that way but uh, the numbers in europe and middle east is actually much higher compared to what i've seen in 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 the north american uh market all right so that's something to keep in mind and and i think uh, uh if you really want to increase your chances of uh, getting an internal move i think the best thing to do is to stay with one company and not try like too many companies right unless you actually work really hard impress people and be loyal to the company for a couple of years nobody will take a chance of uh, moving away from india to abroad right so that's something to keep in mind it's also easier to make a move with the european firms compared to that of the us firms uh with the us firms they're very clear they want to reduce cost and that's uh, possible only if they you know send work to india so they do not want to send uh, people from india to us visa process is another big challenge especially with the prevailing uh, political uh, situation there whereas in, the, in europe it's a bit different in europe actually first of all the salary difference is also a bit less because in the us it's it's like uh, you know the the guys at the top they make hell lot of money and the guys at the bottom they make lot less money so in order to for the top guys to make great money you need really need lot of people to make less money and that's exactly when the exact the reason why this uh, outsource lot of the work to india right so um europe is a bit different in that way because a uh, lot of the senior managers in europe they don't make as much as money in fact much less money from their uh, american counterparts right uh, and hence you you still have you know surplus surplus cash uh with with the company to hire more people and 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 pay them decent salary even at lower level right so that's one reason why the hiring is bit better here in europe compared to in the us uh, most uh, stable jobs and and social security benefits are there and and right it it's more stable actually um, i mean you, you can you can have a life beyond just a career uh, and and job right unlike in the us where it, it it's a plain rat race right y- you work really really hard to make money 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 in all your life and then there is always a question mark on uh, the stability right how stable is your job and 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 uh, if you lose your job you have to go back to your home country getting a visa sponsorship is a headache uh, getting a permanent resident uh, uh, in us is another big challenge which is much easier in the in the european countries compared to that in the us right so yeah these are things to keep in mind if you are uh, trying uh, jobs abroad right uh, one other interesting area is moving to middle eastern countries right what uh, i've heard from people is that the the money that you make in those countries is actually quite good in fact the, the the money that you save in those countries is actually much bigger or better than what you probably would save in uh, european uh, countries because european countries are very expensive tax rates are very high you pay crazy amount of money in taxes um where, whereas the taxes are much less in in middle eastern countries such as uh, in in places like dubai abu dhabi bahrain oman and and you know these places 
so especially for young and not married yet i think uh, you know if you're in your 20s and you really want to f- make some quick bucks for 5 years just uh, go and cash in right just make good money and then uh, then find opportunity in 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 europe or london or uh, some nordic nordic countries um right so that uh, that's something uh, you could also do that right and and i i've seen many people doing that some people are really happy in dubai and have the they don't want to move abroad they don't want to go to europe or or to canada or us uh, they're still happy with that uh, with, with that market and and that's also fine right some people also make quick money and then they move back to india that's also another option uh, to try right how about singapore and and hong kong and these places right uh, i know people working in hsbc some of them go to uh, uh, to hong kong right uh, they get internal uh, move from working in hsbc india office to to hsbc in hong kong in risk space in quant space um i've seen many uh, quants working uh, at standard chartered or city bank uh, they actually also move to singapore right uh, some of my former colleagues actually working in singapore they used to work in india but then they made an internal move to those places how about opportunity outside of these markets um not many i have heard but uh, there's still uh, some people i i know moving to countries which are not like uh, in singapore hong kong or middle eastern countries but uh, outside of these within is asia right in europe you have netherlands germany austria switzerland uh, uk ireland um nordic country like sweden norway finland denmark um Aust- uh, luxembourg belgium as well spain uh, these are the countries that hire you know people from india in all areas and and i also see people in the risk and and quant space they are also making a move to these countries i you know this not uh, the number has actually increased quite uh, a lot in the last 5 6 7 years you know before to 2015 there were hardly uh, quants moving from india to to work in in abroad london was an exception but but in other european country there were not many but things have improved a lot uh in the last 6 uh, to 8 years right so if you have uh, more questions you can always reach out to me um uh, right uh, just uh, reach out to me um right so how about uh, in the trading and asset management space right if you're working as a quant in those areas right uh, how do you make a move abroad right now the good thing with um, working in trading and asset management area is that uh, you are a very special guy in one way because there simply not many people qualified in this area right um uh, but but it also the fact that there simply not many jobs in this area but given your experience right uh, if you have ever worked with uh, the global firms in trading asset management firms like if you have worked with blackrock or bangad You, you you are expensively highly valued by the european firms right so it's quite easy to make a move directly you may not get direct internal mobility within blackrock from india to let's say the us office or to a london office but you can easily make a move from Bla- working uh, in blackrock uh, india to let's say in some asset management firm in in amsterdam or in berlin or in frankfurt or paris you know those places um if you have domestic experience in domestic banks domestic uh, firms asset management from trading firms i think that experience is not that valued actually experience with global firms is valued a lot more doesn't mean that you can't make a move you can certainly make a move but it's just that it's a bit more difficult probably okay um if you have uh, you know qualifications uh, from global university even distance learning all that also counts a bit if you have cfa frm it also helps a bit um uh not a lot i think experience matters much more compared to these uh, qualifications but uh, it's nice to have right if you have further questions let me know and uh, we can we can talk more about it at a personal level but thanks for watching and uh, see you in another video guys